If you have been wondering about the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Powder Foundation, and also this palette right here, it's the Laura Geller, the best of the best basic full face baked, then this is the video for you. Hi guys, my name is Jane and this is Station Jaya, a channel all about looking and feeling your absolute best. And I'm so excited that you stopped by today because I will be doing a review and a demo of these little bad boys right here. So keep on watching. All right, let's get started. So I picked up this Laura Geller, um, the best of the best baked full face basics and also the baked balance and brighten powder foundation during the holidays. Around December, this is all that I saw on all of my social media, all of my For You pages, and I was definitely influenced. I am a cream makeup girly. I'm very into skincare and I was actually intrigued because this is powder and also it is geared towards more mature skin. So I ended up purchasing this and this together for about $50, maybe a little closer to 60 with tax. Today on the website, this palette and also this powder foundation with a brush is retailing for about $60. And there are always sales on the Laura Geller website. I have been playing with this makeup for quite a while now, since December, and I definitely have some thoughts. First of all, all of the products are baked. This is the shade Porcelain. I'm very, very fair. So that's why I picked up Porcelain with this palette. And everything for being a powder has a very luminous glow. I hope you can see it on my hand here. It has a luminous finish. So not only does the powder foundation have a luminous finish, but also all of the other products in the palette. So in the palette, you receive a bronzer, a blush color, a very blingy highlighter, and then a more subtle everyday highlighter without so much shimmer, and then three eyeshadow shades. So this is the shimmer, kind of like a neutral. You have a nice pretty brown color that's a little bit more matte. And when I say matte, remember it's still baked. So you still have, you know, that nice glow, that nice sheen, and then a darker, you know, more crease or contour color. So everything, everything has a glow to it. So if you get the wrong color, because I did once purchase the Balance Baked, the Baked Balance in Brighton um, powder foundation before, and this time I got it in porcelain, like I said, but I think I got it in fair, and I looked like the Tin Man, I was a disco ball, so I think it's important to get kind of the right shade because it does have that glow, that shine. It has a pearl finish. So it's almost kind of like doing your makeup entirely with a highlighter. Okay, so I do wanna demo this for you. I'm gonna start out putting on the powder foundation and I just use my Stands Out sponge. It's very easy. I have not used the Laura Geller um, brush, the Kabuki brush. Um, I did not get it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl and I'm just gonna use the, the mirror that's on here. And as you can see, it has very light coverage. If you're a full coverage girly, this is probably not the product for you. It has a light to, it says medium coverage, um, not sure but I just love the finish of this product. It does even everything out. And I find it extremely easy, so easy to use. You're just gonna swipe on and I take very good care of my skin. That's a lot of what my channel is about. So um, I find that it really works well with you know hydrated moisturized and prepped skin um, if you have dry patches if you have a lot of texture it will it will probably emphasize those things and cling so you really want to prep your face 
well before using this product. But as you can see, it does not have a powdery finish. It does not look flat. It does not look matte for being a powder. And from someone who really enjoys a glowy look, a cream makeup look, I was pleasantly surprised with this product. And look how fast that is. The complexion is done. Now we're gonna go in with the bronzer, this shade right here, and it says Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. And I'm just using a fluffy brush, loading up my brush, and I'm gonna swipe it on the top of my forehead, and you can see that it immediately starts warming up the complexion and it's very blendable and it's very easy to use. And that's something that I will say about this entire system. If you are new to makeup or if you are not a makeup vet, this is the perfect starter system to kind of get used to complexion, bronzing, blush, the whole, the whole thing. Now, does this settle into fine lines? Um, it can. If you have deep lines, it can settle in, but that is to be expected. Otherwise, it is very smooth and just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. I'm gonna put some a little bit under the chin for some contouring. But that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a little, actually I'm going to use the highlighter. So I have my little highlighter brush here and I want to show you the difference. So first I'm going to go into the um, French vanilla highlighter, which is the more subtle highlighter. And I'm going to show you right here and hopefully it can pick it up. See how subtle that highlighter is that it just gives kind of like a shine and a glow, but it's not too frosty. Maybe you can see it better here. So this is great for like an everyday, a day to day. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip in to Portofino, which is the more blingy highlighter and show you the difference. See that? This is kind of the megawatt highlighter the more wet looking highlighter. Oh, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. And I do wanna show you the makeup in different lighting because here I am in my studio. Um, it's gonna look one way, but it will look a little bit different in natural light. So I will take you and show you in different lighting. So I like to put on the highlighter first before I go in with the blush, just so everything can kind of like melt together. Uh, together. But honestly, you don't even really need a highlighter because the blush is baked and it does have a glow. It has a natural highlight in it. The blush that comes in this particular palette is called Pink Buttercream, and it's just that nice pinky, like almost like a brownish pink, um, and it's just very pretty and very wearable, and I think it's pretty universal um, for a lot of skin tones. So look at that. See how beautiful? So easy. Honestly, extremely effortless. My mom actually uses this palette. I didn't know that she uses this makeup, but can you see the glow and the shine? This is mega watt. So if you're not into glowing makeup, then this might not be for you. If you're into a matte look, this is not for you. This is mega. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I'll put a little bit um, on top of my nose, maybe a tiny bit on the eye, just to give everything a cohesive look, but this is that. And I'm a little bit of a blush slut, so I can um, overdo it, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all of the eyeshadows and we are almost done with the makeup. Like that is how fast it is. I'm gonna put Sunstone, which is this middle uh, shade, the neutral brown, just all over my lid to a little bit, almost to the brow bone. I do have a hooded eye, blessed with that hooded eye that happens with age, 
but we're okay with that. Um, so I need to take my eyeshadow a little bit higher up. I'll teach you guys a little trick if you do have a hooded eye on the crease shade. Okay, see, it's a very subtle, buildable brown. You don't need a lot, but it also has that glow, that luminous glow. Now on my whole entire lid, I'm going to use the color Oyster. And if you let me try to go a little bit closer here, if you use a brush, it's a little bit more subtle, but it gives that kind of golden glow to the lid. If you want to take it up a notch, you could just go ahead and use your finger and have a more gilded look. So that's what I'm going to do just so you can see the difference. Now I'm going to take it on this side and just place it on top. Like literally, I'm just slapping all of this onto my skin. I'm not being careful about it. And that is what's so fabulous with these products. It's a little bit foolproof. Like you can just slap it on. And because all of the colors just already go together, this is a perfect day-to-day -day system that's fast and easy. Now I'm gonna go into the color Almond, which can look a little intimidating in the palette, but actually on the lid, it's not as intimidating because again, it is very, very light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna stare straight into the mirror that I have over here and take it above my crease here because I do have that hooded lid just so you can see the transition shade a little bit more. And you see how light it is? It's just very easy and it goes on so nicely. It's very buttery. These baked eyeshadows are foolproof. So I just added a tiny bit of definition. If you wanna add a little bit more, I'm gonna go into the crease now and add a tiny bit more definition to deepen that up. Okay, that is it. So here is what the makeup is looking like right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and come back and let you know final thoughts, show you in different lighting, and talk about the wearability of these products. All right, the rest of the makeup is done and this is the final finish. I did use a setting spray, which I highly recommend with any powder products. I used a setting spray to just kind of have everything melt together. But yeah, that's it. I highly, highly recommend this particular palette and this powder foundation. I'm really enjoying these Laura Geller products on the website, if you check it out, I was also impressed with the shade range because it's a very light coverage product. I think you can get away with less of the shade range, but it is available from very fair porcelain to deep and dark. So check it out. Let me know if you guys try it. Oh, one more thing I did wanna mention is that these products are available on Amazon which I didn't buy this off Amazon, but I think that is an actual great idea because if you don't like it, it's just so easy to return. You don't have to mess with trying to like get a label. You know, you can just drop it off at your local Amazon um, drop off location. So I will put a link down below so you can find everything very easily. Let's just check it out very quickly in different lighting and then we will wrap things up. Here we are in natural lighting and you can see I went a little ham with the highlighter, but it looks incredibly flawless. Let me try to get some other lighting here. See that glow, that bronzy look, but this is how it looks in natural kind of daylight lighting, a little shiny, a little glowy, but I wanted you guys to check out up close. And here we are in extremely flattering, not bright light, but you can see the finish here in bright light. So you can kind of get an idea. Okay, so we made it to the end, but we haven't talked about wearability. This makeup stays on your face all day and all night. 
when I put it on, it absolutely stays on until I take it off at the end of the night and it still is vibrant. It still shows up. The blush is still blushing. The bronzer is still bronzing and I can't say enough about this makeup. That being said, it does look a little makeup-y in person. You definitely can see it on your skin, but that's what we're doing. We are wearing makeup and we are playing with makeup. But 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. I love this. This is just an easy system to use. It looks really beautiful on the skin. And after wearing it for a few hours, it just continues to have that glow. I don't feel oily. I don't feel greasy. And if you have a little bit of oil coming up, you can just powder it down a tiny bit. No problem. Okay, that is is all guys i hope that you really enjoyed today's video if you did give me a like why don't you go ahead and subscribe so we can spend some more time together um i love you guys i really appreciate each and every one of you and i'm so thankful you spent some time with me today till the next video bye